Let's see, it's um, Tuesday, September 7th, 2010, um, 7.15am. Yes, I am doing my makeup in the car, and I'm just going to talk while I do that, because, yeah, it's called multitasking. Um, let's see. Um, I actually went to watch um, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World again on, I think it was Saturday. Yeah, I went with my brother because I thought he might like it. Because, like I said, um, to enjoy this movie, well, I don't know. I want to say I think you have to have particular interests um, in video games and rock and roll. But, I mean, that's not necessarily true. But, you know, whatever. But yeah, I watched it, and of course, you know, I liked it still the second time around. You know, some movies, it's like, oh, it's more of a, you know, one-time thing. But yeah, I like this movie. I think I will actually buy it on DVD. Yeah, let me turn down my music a little. But yeah, so it's like, <laughs> I don't know how far my fandom has gone, but I mean, the movie's been on my mind a lot recently, and I'm always quoting it, and it's like, I don't know if it's almost as bad as being like with some people who are like a Twilight Tard, but, you know, with Scott Pilgrim. But, you know, I don't want to um, put myself on that level quite yet. Yeah. And, you know, whatever. I'm not trying to, like, you know, um, be a hater, but I'm just kind of putting it into perspective, sort of. Yeah. Oh, man, when was the last time I filmed, filmed a video blog where I wasn't wearing makeup? I think only my first, first one um, I wasn't wearing makeup. Because I don't know why I had the bright idea to film it when I, like, just woke up. It's like, isn't that, like, you know... The absolute off limit, you know, hour to like not film or even be seen in like public, even if it's like cyber public. Ugh. But yeah. So I got accounting in like 15 minutes, we're probably less now. But yeah. Is that even? Yeah. Oh man. But, um, of course, I mean, when I was driving, I had so much more in my mind, and, um, now I'm, I'm just kind of like, oh, what to talk about? But, um, what is it? I was chatting with, uh, Kim the other day online or whatever, and, um, one of the topics that came up was, uh, what is it? I think, interestingly enough, my sister, sorry, my sister came home and asked me the, kind of the same thing, or, you know, we touched on the same topic, um, we both kind of, we all kind of got into, like, oh, you know, why don't you wear Lolita anymore? And it's like, oh, it's a lot of different things. And, uh, what is it? I think, um, one of the things we said was, um, Lolita has changed since I've gotten into it. And, like, what is it? I still, I guess, um, I still, uh, appreciate the fashion, and I guess I want to say I understand it. Unless, you know, there's something that's changed since. I think I need more blush. But, um, what is it? I don't know, I think the people, well not the people, but the new crowd of people who are getting into Lolita, um, they're different from the people that I met when I got into Lolita. And, you know, I don't want to, you know, badmouth anyone, because of course I haven't talked to every single, you know, person who wears Lolita, so I can't, you know, speak, you know, for or about everyone. But, I don't know, I mean... Lolita's kind of clicky. I remember back in the day when um, I started wearing Lolita, I felt like um, you could go to a Lolita meet and meet new people. But now it's kind of like, oh, hey, we're a bunch of cliques and, you know, we're going to go coincidentally eat in the same place and, yeah, that's about it. I, I don't know. I mean, I don't want to badmouth. Like I said, I don't want to badmouth, you know, the subculture or anything. But um, also, I just, I don't know, Lolita seems like it's a lot to keep up with these days. And I, I never really participated in the, you know, online communities or whatever. And also, um, now I have even less time to attend uh, meets or any other organized events. Yeah. God, so much more on my mind. Um, yeah, and then also I hear there's always some kind of, you know, drama floating around the internet. But it's like, oh, it's the internet, you know, why should you even care? And there's this guy walking by and you guys know how I feel about filming video blogs as people are... <laughs> Okay, he seems to be minding his own business. I like him. Okay. But yeah, um, I know it's like, oh, it's internet drama, you know, why should you care? Blah, blah, blah. But I don't know. It's just like, it's like now after all, you know, the 4chan drama and like, you know, I mean, I just hear bits and pieces. So, you know, I can't even speak from experience or anything, but, um, I hear, you know, there's just all sorts of like drama and junk and like, you know, it's easy to become a victim of anything and now people are extra critical and, you know, it's just, it's all too much. I think it's almost like, I think I thought, um, Lolita had a lot of rules when I, I was, you know, starting out, but now it feels like 
there's a rule for everything and you know someone's gonna try to tear your balls off okay not really uh well, whatever <laughs> figuratively tear off your balls you know if you're doing something even slightly wrong and like you know there are too many varying opinions and people who you know you know think uh, one way is right or you know wrong or whatever I don't know and um, I noticed I mean maybe it's just based on the popular posts that I've you know come across or something or like photos that you know people circle around and stuff but um, I don't know, it seems like Lolita has become extra extravagant and that's almost a little strange to me because like, I know, um, it's not uncommon for people to wear, uh, wigs with their outfits and like, you know, a skirt that's like, you know, almost like impractically, uh, fluffy. I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm just like all spaced out watching that bird over there. Yeah, and like, you know, little things like that and then like also, you know, I came up with like some awful, you know, thing in my head when I was driving and like, uh, unfortunately it involved a lot of cursing, but it actually got the point across better, unfortunate to say. Um, I think in my head I was thinking, um, I've been having this relapse where I want to be like, you know, like, I'm having like a bitch relapse and shit and like, what is it, um, yeah, lots of cursing in this one, sorry. Um, and like, you know, I was like, oh yeah, you know, and, um, my, just the way my attitude is, you know, it's. It misrepresents Lolita, so, you know, maybe it's just something I should step away from until, you know, what is it, whatever, until, um, I've toned down the cursing and, you know, all that stuff. But it's like, obviously, you know, uh, being a bitch doesn't really stop anyone from wearing Lolita. <laughs> and, oh my god, like, ugh, I know I'm making a video of this and I'm almost asking for trouble because someone's gonna find it, they're gonna post it and be like, oh my god, look at that stupid girl on YouTube talking about Lolita, like, she knows what's up. It's like, she's not even wearing Lolita. It's like, you know, then they're gonna go dig up some photos and then it's gonna be on Tumblr and, you know, on Twitter and 4chan and blah, 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 blah. And that's supposed to be, you know, the destruction of, you know, my youth and existence on the internet. But, you know, um... I'm a little done caring because I think I really don't get online enough to even, you know, like, notice these things or whatever. And it's like, eh. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, you know, like, you know, anyone else, I can, I'm, I have a good chance of just being nobody and maybe no one will find it, but who knows? And, you know, maybe I'm saying this now, yet, you know, a million people are watching this as it's being circled. Not that I want that and I don't want to jinx myself, but, you know, you know. <laughs> but yeah. Man, what time is it? Oh, fuck. I have, like, I don't know, less than, like, like, ten minutes. Well, my class is, like, right there. It's accounting, so. Oh, man. Nothing worse than, what is it, waking up for a 7.30 class and a 7.30 accounting class. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that didn't go down very easy. But, yeah. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't know. What else? What else? Um... Hmm. Did I already? Wow, well, this video must already be eight minutes because I know the entire playlist just looped right now. But yeah. So, you know, summary been addicted to Scott Pilgrim. I think I might want to buy the soundtrack, but every time I sample it on iTunes, I mean, I don't know if they just pick the bad parts of the song, but like when I go through it, it doesn't sound that great. But like when I'm watching the movie, I'm just like, you know, I'm so in love with like all the music or whatever, like including, um, you know, Sex Bob Bomb, who's actually Beck, and then, um, what is it, The Clash of Demon Head, you know, um, Scott's ex girlfriend Envy or Natalie, <laughs> what is it, um, they're actually metric and, you know, stuff like that. So it's like, I don't know if I want to buy the soundtrack or what, but you know, I've already, um, gotten a few tracks and, uh, yeah, I guess I just need to resample it and like, you know, um, think it over again. But yeah, so I might buy that. Um, so yeah, Scott Pilgrim Tard, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you know, spread the hype, everyone, because it's a wonderful movie. And, um, what is it, just a couple thoughts on why I don't wear Lolita anymore. But, I mean, it's so much more than that, and I'll probably, um, film something with a better explanation than just a bunch of, you know, awful shit talking, but, you know... I, yeah, like I said, can't badmouth everyone because I obviously have not spoken to every person who wears Lolita. But yeah, the, um, that'll wrap it up because I actually need time to walk to my class and my watch is not forwarded anymore. So what little time I have is actually what little time I have. Okay, so um, that concludes the September 7th, 2010 uh, video blog. And um, yeah, I will see you guys around the internet. Bye!